everybody this is Anthony from Sunny Creates welcome to my YouTube channel so uh, before I begin on today's tutorial I would just like to apologize for not having a video out yesterday which is Monday I think the 15th of Jan um, I was not well I just needed to complete work and then I went to bed uh, but we've got something for today and I thought we'll start with something cute for Valentine's Day. I am going to change this um, uh, uh, design up a bit, uh, but you'll see why just now. But it is a little like concertina, kind of a concertina uh, booklet. Okay, tiny little one, but when you actually open it, it each one has a little saying and I thought of just instead of putting words you know that are related to love or whatever I thought I would do something like this so you know when you're bored or whatever and you don't know what to do then you you and you can have as many as you want to and put them in and then you can then say oh I picked the one that says movie night or I picked one that says date night or oh, what else do I have? Uh, picnic in the park. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Obviously, if you've got kids and you need to arrange a babysitter, you'll do this in advance and say, okay, on Saturday or something, we're going to do that. What about just dancing? And who's to say you can't dance at home? Okay, even movie nights. Who's to say you can't enjoy movies as a family? Right, and picnic in the park. Date night is probably just you and your partner. And then what about ice skating? So I thought that was just so adorable because we can use that in here and we can, uh, you know, stick it on our fridge. We can put it in our journals. We can do whatever we want to with it and it will give us ideas. So I would think that you'd have quite a bit of these cards and then, you know, kind of uh, by, you know, leave it to chance of what you want to do for that special evening or something like that okay so that's basically it uh you know i'm not going to put these cards back maybe we'll come up with new ones i wanted to show you how to make it all right so i'm using an a file a4 cardboard okay that's what you will need then you will need um little squares of paper as you can see i didn't even cut this straight uh, they are about five by five centimeters now let me tell you what I did in order to get this. Uh, just trying to cut it straight here. Okay, I just took uh, these um, these uh, cube refills, and I and mine is ten centimeters by ten. So I folded it in half, and then I folded it in half again. So I've got I got five a uh, four five by five centimeter squares like this. And then all you're going to do, so you'll need, uh, you'll need five of that. So you'll need two of this. Okay. All right. Um, if you're using that, otherwise you can cut it from your scraps. Uh, here I, I cut cards. Um, I had a die, which I cut and uh, let's see what it measures. I don't know. Where's my smaller ruler? Oh, there's it in there. Uh, but since this is out now. So it measures about three centimeters, just on no, uh, two point seven centimeters, or in inches that will be just over an inch. Oh, <laughs> just over an inch, eh? just maybe like an inch and oh, one, two, three, four, just uh, like an inch and one eighth. Yeah, okay, an inch and one eighth or so. Right, so that's what you'll need. Right. Uh, what else will you need? Uh, you can use a scoreboard, but you don't have to use a scoreboard. You'll need probably a pair of scissors. You'll need something that will punch out your um, your hearts. But if you don't have that, then you can always just cut out hearts and put it there. Uh, you will need um, a black. This is 160 GSM cardboard but to be very honest with you i would go lower i would go more like paper type or uh, 80 gsm maybe till maybe about 110 120 or whatever because because you're concertina in it uh you know then you have a little bit of problems but the only problem is that i can't i didn't have uh, anything thinner 
and you will need a ruler a pencil glue and yeah i think that's it so what i'm going to do now is i pre-made four of them uh just so that you know it is easy um i'm going to take this and i'm going to so i would start by making the uh let, let's do that okay um i'm going to show you how to make the envelope quickly so you're going to fold it corner to corner like that and corner to corner like this now this paper is very thin that i'm using in fact it is thinner than copy weight paper as well okay because i got it from the cube refill um so i'm not going to cut off any edges or anything i am just going to use it as it is so i've got my four you know i folded a half and then i opened it and folded another half and then i'm going to take this edge bring it up to the midpoint okay and then my opposite edge i'm going to also take it and bring it to the mid intersection there okay and then i'm going to fold it so the apexes go to the intersection the bottom part i'm going to fold it over you see where this uh, this apex is there and that I'm going to fold it above that okay because if i fold it exactly how i folded these and allowed this edge to meet there you're not going to get an overlap of your envelope and then you're not going to be able to close your envelope okay uh, you mean i mean glue it closed glue it, glue it so i'm just going to take this and i'm going to look at the 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 you know the point the apex of that and i'm going to match it up with this fold line as best as i can like that leaving if you look over here there's a tiny little bit that i overlapped okay uh like that kind of right now because this paper is so thin there's this part over here that that tiny little v over there that's extra like that triangle i'm not gonna bother about it reason is this paper is so thin it can accommodate that Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up, the bottom part up, and if your paper is thicker, then you might want to cut off those Vs. You, I'm going to add a tiny bit of glue because this thing is, you know, like a tiny bit of glue. Because this thing is so small, okay, uh, you're not going to have a lot of room to pick this up, you know, the envelope, the bottom part up. So having said that, uh, if you don't have enough to, you know, a lot of space to work with, your ends that touch or overlap are going to be very small. So you need to know how to put your glue like a very thin line. And then I'm going to bring the top part now to kind of close this envelope up like that. Okay. And that's basically how you would do your envelope now it's not perfect i over here and i'm gone off over here a little bit that's better yeah so it's not perfect but i mean it is so cute right so that's that and then what i will do is i will take a heart okay and then i will glue just the the, the pointed part of the top part Okay, so this is the top part of the envelope the flap the one that opens up i'm going to just glue some put some glue over there and then i'm going to take my heart and i am going to place it over there overlapping okay and i've got a little bit too much over there uh, okay and i try to put the pointy heart with the line over there but if you have a more oblong heart uh, then you must just work it so that it looks kind of in the middle okay right so let's look at this now um so i so if you look at the measurements of this this is just under three and a half if i i think i gave that to you hey yeah just under three and a half three this is actually 3.2 okay 3.2 by three and a half kind of a thing that it measures this year so obviously now when we are one oh i think i gave you a measurement of this right so that is 
the measurements of the envelope, okay? And in inches, now this is going to be difficult. Uh, it is one, oh, it is one and uh, one, nice, Anthony. One, where's one? Ah, where's one? One, one, two, three. One and three eighths. One and three eighths by uh, one and a half. One and a half. One and three eighths by one and a half. Okay, so that's the measurements you'll get. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our page. Now I know on an A4 it's 21 centimeters. Okay. And what I'm going to do over here. This measured height wise 3.2. I'm going to make it three and a half centimeters each. Okay, and three and a half centimeters would be, uh, let's see how many inches. Uh, but you know, you're going to have to work out on your uh, three and a half centimeters. So you're going to have to work out on your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? On your page how you need to do it right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it's three and a half centimeters that way and then uh, I am uh, it's about one and a half centimeters that way but I'm not gonna worry about the width I'm only gonna worry about the length okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just going to uh, take one of my envelopes like this and say okay uh, how wide do I want this thing to be so I said okay I want it to be maybe around there okay and that should give me about uh, just over about 3.7 centimeters or in inches it should give me about one and a half uh no one and three eighths yeah one and three eighths okay so all i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take my cutter right i'm gonna take my cutter and i am going to cut that part out now all right so that was you know that one you just eyeball compared to how wide you want it to be right so this is 21 centimeters as i mentioned going upwards Okay, right, so I'm done with that. Now, as I mentioned, the width of each one of this is three, I mean, the height is about 3.2. I'm gonna score it at every three and a half. Okay, so uh, centimeters, right? So there's my uh, ruler over here. I'm not my ruler, my score bar. So I'm not sure whether you can see it, but there's three and a half here. So it's going to be three and a half. Envelope number one. Seven. Envelope number two. Ten and a half. Envelope number three. Okay. We've got five envelopes. Uh, ten and a half. Eleven plus another three on it will give me fourteen. Envelope number of four. Now, I haven't as yet scored for envelope number five. The reason why I haven't scored for envelope number five is because I need to be able to, because my cardboard is so thick, my envelope number five is not going to be three and a half. It's going to, I mean, sorry, my, my score line is not going to be uh, three and a half uh height now it's going to have to accommodate for the fact that it's going to have to be a little bit more than three and a half so what i'm going to do now is after i folded it i didn't fold it absolutely neatly okay so when i do that now okay so i'm going to fold it in okay and in again and there and there okay kind of a thing or you can fold it all in so fold it in, fold it in, fold it in, and fold it in, all right? And when you do that, then you're going to have no, like, it's going to be one edge. 
but whereas if you fold it like this in out in uh, whatever then you can you see you're going to have quite a few edges there and then two edges there so i don't want to do that i want to fold mine in i want to fold it in and i want to continue folding it in right so because i did that now right so which means that my next one right means that it's going to be a little bit higher than three and a half so before i actually score it what i'm going to do is i'm going to finalize these scores i'm going to make them you know quite tight or so we're not carrying any bulk right so i'm going to finalize it like that all right so that's still my score line there oopsie sorry and i'm going to fold it in again okay and i am going to score it again i mean um make that piece nice and tight and then i'm going to score it again okay now you can see even the score one here moved a bit okay but it's still not so bad as it's going to be on this one now yeah right so that is why i say you should work with thinner paper uh than this okay i just have this so i'm just showing you how it'll work if you don't if you don't have thin black paper so i'm going to put it here now and i'm going to find the nearest line to match this and i'm going to score it there and that day is going to be my fifth my fifth uh you know envelope is going to sit there and then this is going to come over it like that okay so we've got we've got a nice healthy uh, there this is we uh, you, you might not be able to see it but this is where this ends right over here here and our score line is up there so we've got a small little gap over there maybe not even a maybe like a one oh, like one millimeter gap or something there right so that we um allow for the folds that are necessary right so the next thing you want to do and i will wait to do this this flap is way too long right so in my opinion it is way too long but i will trim it but i will trim it later on okay after i've added everything in and i'm happy uh, uh uh with regards to the measurements and now i want to what is wrong this thing is just slipping from my hand now i want to actually you know put this whole thing together then I might trim it down a little bit because what had happened is on this one here, I had trimmed it, uh, you know, I had trimmed it beforehand and I've got a tiny little flap over there, this tiny little flap, which I'm not impressed with. So this way I'm going to be able to make sure that that, that is going to match what I want it to look like. Okay. So now all you're going to do is you're going to open these out here okay you're going to open them out and then you're going to stick your pages together you're going to uh, sorry not your pages your envelopes into the allotted portion of space meaning in the space where the uh, score lines in between the score lines okay so that's going to look like that there and i'm just trying to center it a bit working with my score lines over here checking it out uh, because i've made them nice and tight i don't know what's the right na a na you know term to use tight or or what okay but you know they are crisp that's the word i think crisp is the word that should be used crisp they are crisp uh, lines okay all right and also I'm trying to, to uh, center them so all the envelopes look centered like that. Mm -hmm. I really suggest you use thinner than 160 GSM. Um, you know, uh, then you're not going to uh, um, have so much of 
bulk. I didn't have it and I wanted to show you the project so you, you can understand. And that is the reason why I waited till the, the fifth one I didn't score because I knew that I was going to pick up some bulk on it. Okay, otherwise I would have scored it. If I just used a, um, a like a black piece of paper, which I had, but I think I may have finished it, then um, I wouldn't have worried so much because there wouldn't have been so much of bulk, but there is, okay? So I'm going to bring this, even though it's uh, the width between the score lines are higher, uh, much higher than this paper, the, the envelope over here. I am going to bring it towards the bottom of that score line, and that is going to be quite high up. But the reason why I'm doing that is because remember, we are catering for the bulk that's going to happen when we start rolling this up like this. Okay, and now I must, you, you must remember that we're adding even more bulk. We're adding even more bulk when we put in the, uh, the envelopes. And we're going to add even more bulk just now, okay, when we put in the cards. Right, so that is the reason why I would really, you know, think it would be best to do it on thinner paper. It doesn't look bad right it doesn't look bad but i'm just saying uh you, you if you have the option to that you know with thinner paper then you should take that option um or exercise it so here let's say okay so we had uh we had five i can't remember we, oh there's the fifth one so what should we put we've got ice skating date night dance night picnic in the park movie night uh, what about uh, uh, take a cookery class? Now, I know it's not one night, but how cool. Class. Uh, then maybe eat takeout. Now, I would definitely have put my not one, my First and foremost one would have been uh, to, oh, I lost one card. I lost a card. Okay, I don't know where I lost it, but I lost it. Uh, what about uh, walking on uh, the beachfront, okay, or walking on the shore? But I don't live where there's a beach, okay, so that wouldn't be one that I would use. And I do want to use these, so... Maybe the next one would be um, uh, playing a board game. Now, uh, if you look at some of them, uh, if you're on a budget, then like playing a board game, that doesn't cost anything if you have the board game. Okay, uh, and then the last one, let's make it... Um, I had one in mind. Going for a hike. For a hike or a walk or whatever. That too. Unless you're going to a place that has an entrance fee, uh, then then that you know might cost some money. But otherwise, if you're just going out in the field or whatever, wonderful. So we've got a fairly, we've got a fully flat area where we live. And it's enclosed, meaning it's like boomed up. Uh, so there's one way in and one way out. So um, so why I'm doing this is because remember I said this is a pretty small envelope. So the, 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 the overlapping is quite, uh, you know, not much room for an overlap. And uh, so make sure that... Uh, you use your glue very sparingly, okay, like that. Yeah, so we've got this area that's very flat. And what we are doing now is we are trying to walk every day. Oh, shame. Yesterday, my poor husband had to go for a walk on his own because it was, uh, you know, I had a headache from what, like, I had a headache from 10 o'clock in the morning, but it got seriously bad 
at around 1 p.m. And then I finished off work and I had like a two hour meeting, two and a half hour meeting, one stretch from 1 to 3.30. And then what I did is I, as soon as I got off work, I went and slept. And if I tell you all in all, I slept from half past three yesterday till half past seven this morning today. And all I got up for was uh, to eat supper, which I didn't even eat. Poor hubby came from work and made supper, um, which I like ate half and I was like, bye, I'm out of here. And then apparently he told me he came and he tried to wake me up and then... He said to me, go and have a bath. And I said, okay, just now. So I asked him when we were walking. I said, why didn't you tell me to have a bath? I mean, like, you know. Then he says to me, because you always have a bath at night as well. So I mean, you just assumed you were going to go and have a bath. <laughs> I was like, oh, well. I was couldn't even see straight, let alone have a bath. I do have a bath in the morning and I'm like, I can't, I like, you know, I, I couldn't even see straight, let alone go into the shower. So yes, yeah, so the ends it here. And I'm thinking now, this is the last piece. Do we want to add it with this so long? I don't think I want this so long. I think I want to just chop it off a bit. Just a bit. I want to chop it off. And I wonder if this is going to go in here. Uh, just a tiny bit that I want to chop off. That may be even too much. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's enough. And then I'm going to put that one there. So this is the project for today um as i mentioned you can add it to your junk journals oh let's just let's just put the glue only on half of the the heart okay and then let's just put it down here um yeah so you can add it to your junk journals i probably uh, i need one more extra card which i'll cut out and i'll add it uh, to my fridge uh, because the ones i chose are things that we will do cookery class no but i will turn the cookery class into hubby and i making dinner together something like that okay all right cool i love this project I, I i so love it it's so cute it was inspired by pinterest okay uh, so, so that's the one we made now and that's the one we made I made as my prototype now you can see the difference in terms of that I cut too short and here that is the reason why I waited right till the end to cut it okay so it does have some bulk in it, it does have a bit of bulk in it but it's okay I'm you know I can't say I'm unhappy with it okay so there you go and you can make this as big as you want to, your envelopes as big as you want to. Um, but I thought the, the you know, the, the prettiness lay in the fact that it was a smaller envelope. So ladies, uh, that's it from me, Sunthony at Sunny Creates. I do hope that you enjoyed this little, um, this little thing, <laughs> creation. And if you like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Oh my, I try, I'm answering comments at the moment. I'm still going through some, but thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, thank you for putting all your comments down. I read them and then I go and answer them and answer them. And then I, I set a time limit and then uh, the time is up, then I'll go and answer more the next time or whatever. So I so appreciate your comments. The other thing I appreciate is the fact that it's, you know, I'm no more putting it on Facebook. Uh, but you are uh, getting your notifications and that you are uh, watching the videos. Uh, I have had an increase in my viewing time as well. Uh, so I'm so grateful for that. And uh, I thank each and every one of you. And um, I can't remember whether I said this, but um, I'm going to be doing a 2000 subscriber giveaway. 
uh, it will definitely be a digital kit uh, or, or well something digital for you because I cannot post stuff out okay so I will do that uh, and uh, right now I think I'm on 2099 uh, subscribers if I'm not mistaken so I thank every one of you that have subscribed and I really thank you for spending your time with me I know you can spend it with so many other creators I appreciate you so much. So from me, Santhony at Sunny Creates, bye-bye and have a blessed day until I see you again.